Hey, Jared. Uh, I was curious, just how do you feel like you and Jeff have come together in their time so far playing together on the line? Uh, it's been great. You know, Jeff's an easy guy to play with. Um, obviously, he brings a lot of experience. Um, you know, obviously, winning two Stanley Cups, guys, uh, you know, kind of a legend. So, um, you know, that's the, uh, the where I want to be, you know. Um, you know, it's been it's been really easy. There's no other way to put it. Um, he's, he's just a guy you can rely on, especially in the D zone. And, um, you know, he plays the right way. So it uh, makes my job a lot easier. Seth? Hi, Jared. Uh, you have six career playoff games on your resume. Uh, your linemate, Jeff Carter, has 120. Um, do you sense any kind of difference in how a younger guy like yourself or Marcus Pedersen or Teddy Bluger look at playoff games compared to maybe some of the more, you know, veteran guys like Jeff, Sid, Evgeny, Chris, who have – 100 150 plus games on the resume yeah i think it's just probably just a bit more nerves um you know i, I feel like you know, once you kind of get that experience and, and kind of get that mindset of you know what you got to do every night you're, it uh, it settles you down and um you know i've talked to jeff about it and i'm going to continue to talk to him about it just kind of pick his brain about you know what he does and and uh, what i can kind of take from him dave molinari uh, thanks for speaking with us jared uh, how do you feel like you guys have handled the extra time off uh, this year? And are there any particular challenges to playing a noon game? Uh, well, I think uh, obviously with a little bit of extra time here, um, you can't uh, can't get lackadaisical, I guess, so to say. You just, you know, you got to stay in the mindset. And, um, you know, I feel like our, our coaching staff and, you know, even our trainers have done a good job of kind of keeping us, keeping our legs moving. Um, you know, with practice and, and workouts and stuff like that. So um, we feel ready to go and um, we have to be for, for puck drop. Obviously, a 12 o'clock 12 o'clock game is, you know, a little bit different, especially in the playoffs. Um, there's going to be a lot of nerves, you know, um, especially for the younger guys, but um, we got to be ready. Um, we, we feel like that we've done enough video and all that stuff to, to, to see, you know, what their tendencies are. And, uh, you know, we feel prepared. Seth? Uh, Jared, uh, before you were an NHL player, you were an NHL fan. Uh, did you have any kind of memorabilia or just, you know, fun memories of watching Jeff uh, Carter as a kid growing up? And, um, you know, were you a big fan of him, you know, just through the Sault Ste. Marie connection, I guess? Yeah. Um, so uh, when you walk into the Sioux Greyhounds uh, locker room uh, area there, they have all the names of the NHL players who, you know, who have played the league and um, guys who have played for the for the Greyhounds. So. Um, you know, I saw his name almost every day walking in the rink and, you know, to be able to play with him, it's really cool. And um, I'm looking forward to it. Thanks, Cantor.